Now the problem we are facing today when it comes to social media is something very, very serious. It is the multiplication of the haram that started off by you or that you participated in in a way that you were involved in its initiation or spreading. And that goes back to a hadith of the Prophet ﷺ about someone who sets a good example, someone who sets a bad example. Both of them will be rewarded based on the example, either with good or with bad. When it is followed by others and spread right up to the day of judgment. So imagine you started something and it was bad and people followed it. And before you know, on a platform such as TikTok, you could clock a million views and perhaps a hundred thousand repeats and reposts in no time. The sillier it is, the more likes it gets. Have you noticed? The more vulgar and pornogra pornographic it is, the more reposts it gets. Swearing and all that. Thank you. I didn't say it. You said it, Habibi. It's true. It gets more. And you know what? Good people, mashallah, people in, you know, who look relatively decent and you see the biggest swear word. Did I just hear that? <laughs> Initially, we used to gulp. Nowadays, ah, oh, minor, that's still a small word. Because the big words are becoming small. They're new words now. Songs. You know, people were talking about prohibition of music and so on. You know what I say? The lyrics are so vulgar. No religion on earth. Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. All three of these actually prohibit those type of lyrics completely. But are we interested? Well, I tell you, we have to develop an interest in knowing what's right and wrong. Even if I've fallen in it or you've fallen in it, come on, it's time to at least try and improve yourself a little bit. Today we're sitting here. Uh, sorry, we're seated here. I want to say something. Wallahi, I feel connected to this place. It's not the first time I've been here. I've been here a few times. And I want to tell you something. Faces I see, I recognize at times. But do you know there are so many who have attended our events who left us in the last two years? May Allah grant them Jannatul Firdaus. From your families, your friends, your relatives, those who've passed on, may Allah give them Jannah. And guess what? We could be next in line. Is it impossible? It's not impossible. That's why I say, all you got to do is just tell yourself, inshallah, I'm going to improve, even if it's one millimeter. If you leave this venue today, believing within yourself that I need to improve a little bit, at least we've succeeded. That's all we're asking for. For each other, even myself.